The Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu said that he used to ask Allah for forgiveness over 70 times a day. And somebody could say, well, we can think of almost like seeking forgiveness or repentance as almost like a transaction, right? It's like, well, I do this and so then I have to, then I have to, I have a debt to pay, so now I repent. But there's a couple problems with thinking about it like that. First of all, you don't realize everything that you do wrong. There's a lot of things that we do. Either we do it automatically, first of all, or we do it, and yes, we intended to do it, but we don't necessarily see the consequences. Maybe you said a word to your spouse, and she did a really good job hiding the fact that it hurt her, that it upset her. In reality, you really hurt her feelings, right? Or something to your parents or something to your kids. And maybe they just did it, or maybe they didn't do a good, a, a good job of hiding it, but you just didn't notice, or you had to leave or something like that, right? Every single one of us, we have sins that we're aware of, and we have sins that we're not aware of. And so proactively asking for repentance is not only a good idea, it's also a practice of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, so that we don't get any surprises on the Day of Judgment. Because on the Day of Judgment, as Allah said in the Quran, He's going to enable the limbs to speak and bear witness against us. And our skin and even the earth is going to bear witness and inform us as to everything that we did. We're going to see every single thing. And so imagine you've got all these things that you didn't even realize. And they've been piling up, piling up, piling up. And you didn't take the time to repent other, other than for the things that you remembered scary. You might have a lot to pay for when it comes down to it.